No, I definitely didn't have what most people would refer to as a normal time growing up. You know, you watch your mom suffer through losing the person she loves most. And yeah, that time, it was really rough. One thing that really helped me during the grieving process also was just building ramps. Um, I got into the process of doing a lot of online research because no one's ever built a ramp like this the way I want it. Skateboarding isn't just a hobby for me. It's so much more than that and it's really hard to express how I feel when I skate. It's been in my life for over half of my life now. But I had a relationship with my dad that a lot of people in this world would kill for. My father was an absolute warrior, just a tough guy all around. 20 plus years in the Marines, he had force recon experience, and uh, he was even in the Pentagon on 9-11 when the plane hit. His office was destroyed, but luckily he wasn't in it. He was just really a unique person. When he retired from the Marines, he became a locksmith and opened up a shop and he was really good at it, like the best locksmith you can find around here in Tennessee. And being the kind of guy he was, he really invested in his seven sons and he took interests in our interests. One of the best memories I have with him was when he let me open up a skate shop in his locksmith shop. I had my skateboards, he had his locks, and that was just the coolest thing to me. On October 29th, 2009, he passed away. The nature of his death was very untimely and shocking to say the least, and we lost one of the best well-rounded men I've ever known. Skateboarding fills me with such pride and joy, and just so many emotions that I don't think I will ever stop until the day I die or can't physically continue. And I have to say, I know exactly where that spirit of persistence comes from.